Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you my full curly hair routine because it's probably the number one requested video that I made. And I just got out of the shower and the first tip for curly hair is that you want it to be sopping wet. And even though I just got out of the shower, I'm still gonna spray it because the top is kind of a little dry already. First thing I'm gonna use in my hair is the Kerastase curl manifesto. This is a curl cream. I should probably section it because that is the best way to do it, but I don't know. Sometimes I get really lazy. So just take a little bit and run it through. It feels really like slippery, which makes your curls easy to work with once you start twisting them. My stylist tells me to section it in four sections and split it apart at the crown and then do each product, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depending on the day, but today we're gonna do it because we're gonna try and do this the right way. But my curly hair journey has been a journey for sure because I remember the first time I really hated my hair was in second grade, someone thought that I was a boy. And for those of you, if you could not guess, I am a girly girl. Like I am such a girly girl and I was so embarrassed. And my mom always gave me like a little boy cut. So in all fairness, I probably did look like a boy. <laughs> and I was mortified and I told my mom, I can no longer have short hair. You have to start letting me grow it out. And uh, so then we started that whole process, which I did not realize that once you grow it out, you have to take care of it. And I did not know how to do that for many years later. Next, I'm gonna use this mousse. It's called The Dew. And my stylist, again, introduced me to this. And he is like super generous with this product, like very generous. And he rubs it between his hands and then he'll take each curl, like little sections and, start at the top and then rake it through each section. I have tried this with a damp hair and it does not work as well. So make sure your hair is wet. I can't say that enough. I was recently uh, working with a new stylist and uh, he said, you know, what's your background? And I said, my family's from South India. And he said, really? Because I didn't know Indians had curly hair. And I was like, there is a lot of us. There is a whole bunch of us that have curly hair and um, have been on this journey to finding ways to take care of our hair. And my mom has really curly hair. And I think she just grew up not knowing how to take care of it because the beauty standard in many places is straight hair. And so she would always brush her curls out and just make a braid. And that's what I started doing when I started growing my hair out in like second and third grade. And I would just brush it out my curls and put like two little clips with like a bunch of gel. Do you guys remember like the days of gel? And so there's just so many times I wanna hug my mom and tell her that she's beautiful because I feel like she didn't get that a lot um, growing up, but uh, that's completely separate. Anyways, so kind of learning to take care of my hair was a process because I really didn't know how. And in third grade, I was really fed up with it. And I thought, oh my, okay, well, if I cut my hair when it's wet, it'll just stay that way. So I literally like took my hair, chopped my bangs, and it was not cute. I had to go back to the boy cut. And honestly, my mom wasn't even mad. I was kind of surprised, but I think she was just kind of like, well, what are we gonna do at this point and let it be? So after I have the mousse product in all of my hair, what I then do, and this is new to me, so we're gonna try it together and see what happens, is I take a Denman brush and always go away from your hair and twist it and let it fall. And that kind of creates a natural curl pattern. Although, I don't know, let's try this again. Hmm. Oh, all right. Okay, there we go. Do you see that? That seems to be like going in the right direction. Okay, I think we're getting the hang of it. Oh yeah. Oh, this is exciting. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this turns out together. Anyways, after my boy cut incident, it wasn't until seventh grade where I really discovered how to straighten straighten my hair. We had this like really cheap little white plastic 
straightener and it didn't do anything. Like it didn't even heat up. So there was no hope for my hair. But then my sister came home. She was in ninth grade. I was in seventh grade and she came home with like super silky straight hair and she has wavy hair. It's not as curly as mine, but it's definitely wavy. And she came home with like this silky straight hair. And I said, oh, how did you do this? And she said that one of her friends like ironed it for her. And I said, tell me more, obviously. And so we literally started ironing each other's hair in our basement. My mom came down and was furious. And that's when we definitely got in trouble. And even, even at this point, my mom still refused to buy us a flat iron. She still was just kind of like, no. But I would 100% do this in secret. And I would go to like my friends' houses and I would ask them to either straighten my hair or my sister and I would like find a way to do it uh, because I so desperately wanted this like silky hair growing up with all of these Pantene ads. Of course you want what you don't have and the beauty standard associated with it. But you guys can watch my TED talk because I'll keep going on about that. Comment below if you did any of these crazy hair straightening antics. I hope I was not the only one ironing my hair in my family's basement. Uh, but hey, you, know, you never know. You know when you curl ribbon on a gift, it kind of feels like you're doing that a little bit and then always kind of shake it out so you can get the natural curl pattern out. Oh, that one turned out pretty. Yay! The first time I saw anyone with hair like mine was when we went to visit some of my parents' family friends in Arizona. And they had two daughters. And I remember I said, oh my gosh, your hair is so pretty. And she said, oh, I just got this new flat iron. I have really curly hair. And I said, oh my gosh, so do we. And so she showed us this flat iron. She said, you have to get the one with the gold plates. And I don't even remember what brand it was, but it was like this pearl color flat iron with gold plates. And that was the beginning of the end. I finally, finally got my mom to buy it. This was in eighth grade. And I came home that eighth grade after spring break thinking that I was fire, like so fire. Sweet Home Alabama had just came out and Reese Witherspoon had that little flippy haircut and I got that flippy haircut and I just thought oh, it was everything. And it was, I felt like it was at the time, <laughs> but deconditioning that process has been a definite journey. And honestly, I wore my hair straight up until like, probably two years ago. And then that's when I really started wanting to go on this curly hair journey, which that's a whole separate story for next time because I have to start blow drying my hair. <laughs> Before I diffuse it, you wanna kind of start um, shaping it the way you want the hair to go. It will help with the volume if you kind of have an idea, but it doesn't have to be. So just take a diffuser and blow. This is pretty much the routine and the final look. I definitely can like wear it up or I style it differently, depending on if I'm going to different events, which I can do um, more videos like that later. If, if you want them, <laughs> let me know what you want to see. If you uh, feel like it's a little sticky, this is the Shaws and Keeks. They actually don't make this anymore. I know the founders and they sent this for me to try, uh, but there's definitely other hair oils that um, you can use. I don't know the word for this, but whatever I'm doing is what I keep doing. <laughs> and that kind of helps also like soften it and it gives it that like extra shine and makes it a little more fluffy. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know what you want to see more of as far as curly hairstyles. And uh, please subscribe, do all the YouTube things if you haven't yet done them. And thanks for watching.